Hello everybody, today I'm going to ask and answer the question, what is Xenonauts 2? Goldhawk Interactive, the creators of the original Xenonauts, just launched a brand new Kickstarter for Xenonauts 2, where it reached its funding goal within 9 hours. Now, alongside that Kickstarter, they dropped an updated version of their combat demo, which is the footage that you're seeing now, to showcase some of the progress they've made so far with development. There's no campaign footage as of yet, but they have given some information about planned features that we're going to take a look at. Now, unlike a lot of Kickstarter games, Xenonauts 2 has already made significant progress in development over the course of three years, and it's said to be in an advanced state by the developers. Now that it's hit its funding goal, you can expect the game to get an early access release later this year. So what is Xenonauts? If you're unfamiliar with Xenonauts, it's basically an updated version of the original 1990s XCOM UFO defense. You have to protect Earth from an alien invasion, you'll build and manage bases in different countries to get radar coverage, shoot down or locate UFOs, and then fight them on the ground to secure alien technology to advance your cause and prepare for bigger and bigger invasions. The more you protect countries, the more funding they give you, allowing you to recruit more soldiers, engineers, and scientists to allow you to reverse engineer the alien technology and build your own. The campaign operates in real time with a speed up and slow down option with simulated day and night cycles. The battles on the ground are turn-based, grid-based tactic style games that many are likely to be familiar with, with many modern games creating various adaptations of that gameplay. Xenonauts delves deep into each character and action. They each have varied amounts of stats that affect performance, different weapon types, their own inventory space and more. The standout thing for me is how granular the decision making in Xenonauts is compared to a modern XCOM game. You spend action points, or time units in this game, to do every maneuver possible. Whether it be rotating, crouching, opening a door, looting or anything, it all costs some TU for that character in your turn. Likewise, weapons have alternate firing modes and styles, varying in damage, accuracy and TU cost. This added depth does slow down the game considerably, it requires a much more methodical approach. In Xenonauts 2, the combat is now 3D, allowing you to do full camera rotations and get a better grasp of line of sight, but generally, aside from looking prettier, it seems to operate much the same as Xenonauts 1, at least from the combat demo and how the developers are describing it. On their Kickstarter, Goldhawk describe a much more destructible environment than before, where UFO hulls can be breached with the right equipment. Unit equipment has been expanded, and dynamic missions with objectives are now more accurate. For instance, shooting down a scout craft in an arctic region during the day will give you a daylight arctic mission where you have to capture a scout UFO. The translation between map and battle being as accurate as possible, reducing repetition is something that really brings the game to life, and specifically your playthrough to life, so I'm very excited for that one-to-one -one translation to be even more accurate than in Xenonauts 1. The campaign from what's detailed on their Kickstarter seems to operate just like the first game as well, with the big exception of base building. Base building now takes on the XCOM 2 style of a side-on base building game where power, storage space, food and more has to be considered when expanding and creating new rooms. This has now been referred to as the Atlas base, and by the sounds of it you'll just be building one base rather than multiple across the globe. There will also be a larger and more varied tech tree being introduced, bringing with it the potential of more game-changing technologies that keep combat fresh throughout the game. Another notable thing is that Xenonauts 2 is not a chronological sequel to Xenonauts, it's quote, an updated portrayal of similar events, end quote, which is alternate history modern day where the Cold War never ended due to the alien threat. This is why I've shown a lot of Xenonauts footage in this preview for Xenonauts 2. They are essentially the same game, but with some improvements and a lot more content. So if, like me, you missed out on Xenonauts when it originally came out, you could hold out for Xenonauts 2 and you won't be really missing anything, except maybe playing a very good game. In any free time I'm gonna get, I'll be playing Xenonauts in anticipation of the sequel. I've only played around 6 hours so far, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Turn-based, grid-based combat is one of my favourite styles of gameplay. Pairing it with a campaign that translates to battle and soldiers that you can get attached to, you got a very fun game indeed. Dangerously fun, some may even say. So that's it for this short mini preview of Xenonauts 2. The combat demo is just like the first game, but with a bit more polish to it. Though there are still some line of sight issues I think they could clear up with improved UI. Now if you want to grab the demo for yourself, you can get it by going to GOG.com or checking their Kickstarter page. They may have hit their funding goals, but stretch goals are unlocking new features for the game, so if you, if you like this type of game and it's something you're passionate about, consider backing it. Thank you very much for watching the video. Let me know what you think about Xenonauts and the video in the comments below. I'm always in there reading them and it helps me out a lot. If you want to support the channel and keep it going, check me out on Patreon. The help there is tremendous for such few people, so any more is greatly appreciated. $1 there is about equivalent to 1,200 views for me, so you can have a really big impact. 
Also check out my Twitch schedule to see when I'm playing these types of games. Join our Discord to get involved and if you have the time, join the Steam group to play with like-minded players. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.